Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Camp Minecraft and in today's episode of Camp Minecraft we go ahead and check out all the new stuff added in the recent snapshot that includes like the target block, the crime obsidian and then we also go ahead and react to Sigil's prank that he did on us. He, he went ahead and did something pretty pretty mean to our base so yeah we go ahead and check that out with him so if you guys do enjoy this video be sure to hit it with a like and comment down below any suggestions for future episodes of Camp Minecraft and if you guys do be sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video because if you enjoyed this video I'm sure you will enjoy everything else that I upload and let's aim for a like goal of maybe 4,000 likes on this video if we can hit that on this video that would be insane and I really really appreciate it so yeah let's go for 4,000 likes on this video but other than that let's just hop straight into it okay guys so we're back at spawn and we actually just got informed about something that Sigils has done he's over there doing his own thing but he said that he has something we have to go check out at our base so I think I'm gonna go head over there with him and see what he's done obviously we have our brand new super fast form of transport so we're gonna go there with him in a second Let's see what he's done. I'm not too sure what he's done, but he said there's something to do with command blocks or something. So yeah, let's, let's just go check it out, I guess. Sigils, 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 Sigils. Mr. Sigils. What's up, what's up, what's up? So, so, so you're saying there's something at my base that I need to go no, and have... No, but I'm just saying let's go to your base together. Okay, well, well, Sigils, did you know about my brand new super fast form of transport? The RV. Wait, wait, you have an RV? Yeah, dude, I fixed it up. See, see, the tire's fixed now. See this? You know that tire was broken the whole time? Wheels, they don't, they don't no. actually spin. In you want to bet? You want to bet? You want to bet? Later, dude. What? Hello? What? Go ahead and flick that lever. Go ahead and flick that lever. Oh, wait. And welcome to my base. Oh. Super fast form of transport. That's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> you know what? I approve. I approve. Anyway, uh, as long as you're here, well, um, let's go this way. Yeah, wait. So you were saying there's something to do with command... Oh, no. There's signs. There's signs. This is... <laughs> Henry, the fun. whole server is a buzz after your prank. I thought I'd teach you how the master prank sigils. Why... You're calling yourself the master of pranks, huh? Well, huh? I mean, I don't know if you saw, but I, I turned the bees you put in my house into a business because yeah. I have 3,000 IQ. I mean, so... I, I did see that, but you're kind of overpricing them. Like, 16 honey yeah. for one diamond, dude? That, ain't I'm nobody going to buy that. Honey is the highest saturated food item in the game. I, I guess, I guess. Okay, whatever. Well, let me get rid of these ugly signs because they have your name on them. They're very smelly and ugly and smelly. But, <laughs> dude, there's, there's literally nothing going on. Like, <laughs> this still looks kind of... No... <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's so many name tags in my house. No reason. Don't worry Sigil. about it. Buddy. Don't worry about it. Don't I worry, pray this infestation goes away, dude. I had better. Holy smokes! <laughs> dude, there's so many bees. Wait, what the? My armor stands. Wait, where's the XP back here? I don't know. Sigils, what have you done? Yeah. And why yeah, are there so many? Wait. What do, you, what do you mean, bud? Wait, 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 ha wait, so you say there's something to do with the command block, like, there's no way that you got these over here and name tagged them all, you do not have that many name tags, and you do not have that much time. I don't know, Henry, why don't you, why don't you just start getting rid of them? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I probably should, they're, they're... oh, 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 wait, how do I get these ones up here? Okay, yeah, I should probably start getting rid of them, though, because there's, they're gonna be super, super annoying, uh, and do you, so annoying, dude. do you, do you have, do you have a, I can't, I can't, I can't reach them! Dude, I, it feels like they're just everywhere, there's so many... Oh, 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 no, 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 that was you! That was you with your trident, dude! That was you with your trident! There's, no, there's so many! There is! Sigils, where, where are they coming from, dude? No, 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 I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Dude, 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 um, 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 yes? I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, buddy. Oh, I do, though. Hey, so, every time you hit one, maybe look over at the throne. Wait, wait, wait. If I, if I hit... They, they just, they just keep on spawning! <laughs> wait, no, no, no. It's a never ending spawn, you always no. have a hundred, dude. No, 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 how, how do I get rid of them? How, you gotta tell me, Sigils. Sigils, Sigils, this is brand new netherite armor and it's losing a lot of durability. Hey, hey, Henry, if only there was like a sign that like give you a clue. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I pray this infestation goes away. I pray? I'm, it's just, I'm confused. Can I have another hand? It's in all caps. What, where do you go to pray, dummy? Um, wait! Wait, 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 I, I built, I, I upgraded my village over here. There's, there's, there's no way it's my village. There's, there's, okay, so, so here, here's the church. I don't see any bees in here, dude. There's literally, there's, oh wait, more signs, more signs, more signs. Um, there's no answer here. Try somewhere more stable. I hate you. Okay, it's checking the stable, checking the stable. Uh, oh, oh, more signs, more signs. 
Maybe you get no, no. <laughs> I have to go all the way back to sport. Are you serious? Uh, looking for some more signs in here. Maybe upstairs. Um. Oh boy, there's, there's so much. Oh, I forgot I made all these games. There's a bunch of cool games up here. You know, if you, if you want to come and you know spend your money, well, maybe on on some rock it. rock paper scissors, dude. This is a brand new game out of the casino. It's pre it's pretty fun. Wait, all the way up, all the way up, and. Henry, you never light up your freaking bases. Okay, well, there's no sign up here, so what do you mean? Wait. Oh, wait, we yeah, haven't... You've checked all... yeah, okay. <laughs> wait, we have an elevator, I forgot. Okay, there's nothing on this floor. Let's go up one more. Oh, okay, here we go. The key to your B problem is under your fountain, bot. Love, Sig... <laughs> Sigils, do you know how, how many... Do you know how many fountains I have? You oh. You need to be more specific. I have a fountain here, I have a fountain in my village, and I have a fountain- Oh, okay, time to check them all, I guess. And knowing you, it's ah, prob- there bees everywhere! Wait, no. Oh my god, Sigils, these are, gonna, these are gonna be flying around my base for, like, years to come. Like, oh my- okay. Wait, so let me check the secret room under the fountain that you and Bevel made, like, ages ago, because... I mean, that's the only real place to get under my fountain, I feel like. Oh, yep, okay, there's a sign here. You've done very- wait. You've done well, never prank the master. Get out of here, you ow, bot. Ow, wow, that didn't even hurt me. Okay. <laughs> How did that not hurt you? That's literally the best sword in the game. Sharpness 5? Netherite, netherite, with oh. rot 4. Oh my own. Look at this disgusting hey, monster. Mm, delicious. You know, you know what I have to say about this? What, what, what? Hey! Oh, that's rude. I want my command blocks back. <laughs> you can get them in your own time. Is there any secret room behind here? No, okay. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. That's it. That's it. Everything okay, is good. fine. Yeah. Well, on that note, Sigils, ju just know these beans are going to be flying around my base for so long to come. But I'm going to get you back for this. Think of me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you back for this, but in the meantime, you can just... Wait. Wait. No. Yeah, wait. No. Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 wait. Um, 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 uh, yeah, wait, no, go. Okay, alright. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> okay, guys, so it's actually been a little while since I recorded that last clip with Sigils, where he went ahead and pranked my house, that, that freaking, that freaking noob. He, he went ahead and spawned a bunch of bees and all that stuff. It was pretty annoying, but we went ahead and sorted that out. I think there's still a few over there, but it's not too big of a deal. What we're going to be working on for the rest of this episode, as you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail, is some of the new stuff that added in this snapshot. Because if you guys see, we actually updated the server to 20w09a, and that's the brand new snapshot, that actually they added a few cool things in. So one of the first things we're going to actually check out is the archery block, and we're going to make a really, really cool minigame later. But the first thing we're going to do, and you guys will probably see as soon as I turn around here, is make a tunnel through Nico's old base. And I messaged Nico, and he said he's fine with this, just basically because he doesn't even use this place anymore. So we're going to go ahead and make this tunnel, make it look all nice, all the way over to this side of spawn. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of room to work with over here and a lot more room for expansion and stuff. So I think what I'm going to go and do is go ahead and decorate this up, make a little pathway coming out and then work on the mini game thing here. Look at the tunnel here. You can see it's come out pretty nicely. We've added this little structure to Nico's thing. So it's not just a floating stone thing anymore. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. And then we got the little archway coming in. And there's just a nice little circular thing coming down. We've got some little decoration on the floor. We also have some barrels here if we ever want to use those for some storage. I don't know. But then it comes out onto the other side of spawn here where we will have a bunch more builds. And yeah, it's just open land for more people to do more builds around spawn. Just basically expanding the area a little bit more. Okay, guys. So while we're working on the archery thing over there, there is actually another block that they added in this snapshot and that is crying obsidian and now i think the way we get this is by trading with the piglins in the nether i'm pretty sure they also act a little bit differently now so let's go ahead head into the nether go down to where the pig oh i thought i just fell to my death that would have that would have been a bad um but hey let's go ahead and head down to where the piglins are at and uh, what has happened down oh my I haven't even seen this yet i've heard about um sigil's little factory that he made down here but i haven't actually seen it yet and that Looks pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I really really like how that looks But hey, if we head down to where the piglins are at here Apparently they will trade us the crying obsidian that we need but yeah if I go ahead and hold out the Yeah, yeah, you guys you guys like this how huh? you like this so here go ahead and take some gold and let's see Let's see if we can get some crying obsidian because that is the goal I want to see what this new block looks like and what exactly uh, oh, okay So we got some leather. That's that's pretty cool. I guess what do you guys have over here? You guys you guys got any any goods here? You take you take some of that you take some of that you take some of that you guys 
G give, me, give me some cool items for these gold bars. Okay, so nothing just yet, but hey, let's see if we can get some of this crying obsidian, because that is the goal, like I said. You got anything for me, mister? Oh, he dropped us five shroom light. That's actually, that's actually pretty useful, thank you. Okay, guys, so after a little bit more bartering, we actually got the crying obsidian, and that's five pieces of it. I'm pretty sure it was one of these, maybe it was this guy who gave it to us? Oh, no, but don't, don't. Oh, okay, the little one almost picked it up. When the little ones pick it up, they don't give you anything, usually. Um... I, I want to get them out of the way, but I also don't want to hit them. Here, uh, big big guy, you you, you take it. No, the little one picked it. Here, grab it. Dude, what? Dude, the little, the little ones keep stealing it, and he's going to give me his leather. He's not going to give me anything. I don't want them to have it. I want you to have it. There you go. I swear these little ones are going to steal all my gold. Okay, I'm going to go grab a little bit more gold because I want a little bit more crown obsidian than this. And we'll, we'll see how much more we can actually get. Okay, so I'm actually pretty sure that even if we trade with the same guy over and over, he'll drop different things eventually. Dude, these babies are annoying. They don't trade me anything. They just run to it first, though. Oh, my goodness. I want to kill them so, so bad. Arrow guy, you take this. There, you, there we go. Now we've got a guy who's actually willing to trade decent stuff. So I think, yeah, the same guy won't drop the same thing every single time. So he dropped leather that time. This time he might drop something else. How? Hey, you guys take those. I, I hate these little pigs. They're so annoying. And there we go. We got a little bit more crying obsidian from that guy. I, I want to get a little bit more, I feel like. Come on, guys. Give me a little bit more Crown Obsidian, please. I would, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Hey, I'm going to use all my gold, because apparently this is the only way of getting it. He dropped no more Obsidian again? Come on, dude. But yeah, it, se it seems like you can actually trade quite a lot with these guys now, which is actually really interesting, because if you're ever stranded in the Nether or anything, then you can get a bunch of new things. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them here now. Fire Resistance Potion, no more Obsidian, Mushroom, and what, what are you dropping? Fire charges, not what, exactly what I what would I would have wanted. Yeah, you guys can see how much gold I've been using up, and I only managed to get seven crown obsidian. Maybe you guys will get luckier, maybe not. But yeah, that's how you get the new crown obsidian. And I want to actually see how this looks in the overworld. Again, at the moment it doesn't have a use, but I think we're the only people on the server who actually have it. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty useful. It's pretty cool. And I think it can one make nether portals look a lot cooler, which I'll show you guys in a second here if we go all the way back up to spawn. And I think in the future it's gonna have its own like purpose, which will be really really cool. I can't wait to see what they actually make. The purpose if you guys have any ideas on what they're gonna make the purpose or ideas of what they should make the purpose comment them down below that would be really really interesting to see what you guys think but yeah if we're here in the overworld a really cool way i guess for me i i would use this is like within another portal exactly like this and just swap it out for the normal obsidian and it can make it look a lot cooler look, already you guys can see that it's like glowing making the portal have a little bit more of a life to it now i don't actually think you can use this block to make portals but i guess you can use it just to lighten them up a bit and give them a little bit more of a difference uh, but other than that it's it's purely aesthetic i think at the moment but yeah they might add a, a use to it in the future which i can't i can't wait to see um, but yeah, other, other than that, let's go ahead and continue working on our little target thing. Okay guys, so for this, I guess, target block, what we're gonna need is a wheat block, like we said. So if we look in here, I think it is, or maybe it's some redstone. Where is it? Oh, actually, I think we need to get in a crafting table. But anyway, we're gonna need a hay bale block, pretty much. And we're also probably gonna need some hay bale blocks for some decoration. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to the little wheat farm we got going and steal all of this wheat real quick. And with this, if I turn this into hay bale blocks, we should be able to make the new target block. There we go. Very, very nice. So we're going to need one of these. And we're also going to probably make use these hay bales for decoration and stuff on the actual course itself. But here, let's go back over to the other side of spawn that we just made with our little elytra here. And just show you guys how this works. So here, if I was to go ahead and place down the target right here, you guys can see it had like kind of a hay bale noise. And if you put the redstone signal out for here, I think it goes further. But that's all we're going to do for the time being. And if we have, yeah, we have 10 arrows here, and if we have a bow, if you guys see, I can shoot literally the far corner here, and it'll set out a super, super low redstone signal because I didn't hit the bullseye, right? Now, if I pick this up and aim for the bullseye, there we go. The closer to the bullseye we get, the further the redstone signal reaches, as you guys can see. There we go again, and we just got the achievement bullseye. That's, although it's from two blocks away, we got the achievement bullseye. So yeah, I'm going to set up maybe like a little bit of a course for this, and then throw in some redstone, like, pistons and stuff that move around to make this a lot harder uh, and then we're going to set it up to however the signal however far the signal is the i guess the like score gets displayed differently i'm not too sure exactly how we're going to do it just yet but 
let's work on this and I'll, I'll cut back once we have something working <laughs> Okay guys, so after a little while, as you can see, we have a little horse at the end there. We have a little bit of a design done here, and I think it turned out pretty nicely. Again, I've still got a little bit more to do down this end, but I just wanted to catch you guys up with it and show you guys what I've done so far. So we have a little standing area that they're not allowed to pass here, and then we also have some decoration going along here, some trees to add some hanging things. And right here, we have a little block down, I guess, a drop down here, where I want to have like a piston that pops a block up and down every so often randomly. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hay bale here and then put it on there so the hay bale is like bopping up and down to make it a little bit more difficult for whoever's shooting and then they've got to try and hit this target back here now what we're going to do is obviously decorate the rest of the pathway here and then i also want to add the scoring system so the way i'm going to do it is there's going to either be one light that lights up two lights that light up or three lights that light up and if three light up that's three points if one lights up that's one point if two light up that's two points and it'll just be depending on how close it is to a bullseye um but yeah let's go ahead and check it out see if i can get those things set up and oh, of, of course of course and i i put my whole way oh my let me go fix this and fix it up a little bit more, get the scoring system in place, and I'll show you guys the little update then, but... Yeah, now we can just go ahead and grab our hoe. <laughs> okay, guys. So I, I've gone ahead and added in the little scoring system here. You guys can see I went and grabbed a few more hay bale blocks and stuff. And we added in a score system. I'll show you guys how that works in a little bit. I decorated a little bit more over here. And we still have the little obstacle to add in, which we'll add in just before um, just before we finish up here. But here, let me show you guys how this score system works. So right now I have 10 arrows on me. If I hit the very outer side of it, you can see that I don't really hit anything. If I don't hit the marker at all, because clearly, clearly I'm quite trash because I didn't hit it from this close. But here, if I hit the very edge right here, you guys can see I score one point. But now, as the closer I get, the higher my points get. So you guys can see I hit that red line, I hit two points. But even if I got a little bit off the red line, it would still only be one point. So I need to be within that second line to get the two points. And now to get the three points, you need to be directly in the middle. Even from this point, it can be kind of difficult to hit it. There we go. I hit it on the second try there. Uh, but you guys can see that it's quite it's quite difficult to do. And the way I've done this is just done a redstone current going all the way, basically different lengths. If you guys want to see a full, like, um, I guess, tutorial on this, let me know. Uh, but here, let me quickly run through it for you guys. So it's like one. So, so that's the first one that gets lit up. And as soon as it gets lit up, it just sets off that first light. You guys can see it's connected to the repeater. And then it goes two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine pieces of redstone so on the ninth piece of red ninth on the ninth piece of redstone we have the uh second light lighting up on the ninth piece and then on the 10th 11th 12th 13th 14th on the 15th piece of redstone we have it light up the last one so you need to basically just extend a redstone signal 15 times on the first one have one light light up on the second one oh no on the ninth one have two, the second light light up and on the 15th one have the third light light up again you can change this to have as many different points as you want you can even add more points and all that kind of stuff uh but that's just kind what I did because I think three points is a pretty simple way of doing things um but yeah I think what I want to do now is here let me let me show you guys how difficult it actually can be to hit from this line so I had a little bit of a carpet here but you guys can see how far away that is if I try and line it up let's see if we can get a bullseye first try no we didn't even hit it okay uh but if we aim a little bit higher okay we got one point two points right there two points one point it can be extremely Difficult to hit that bullseye. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm struggling and I have 10 arrows right now and I still can't hit it. I had 10 whole arrows and I couldn't hit the bullseye. That's how difficult this is. And with the little thing that pops up and down, it should make it even harder. So yeah, Biff was actually online right now. So let me go ahead and add this little obstacle in. It's just gonna be a piston with the redstone and a hay bale like bouncing up and down pretty much. And yeah, I think I might challenge Biffle to a 1v1, maybe for some netherite or some diamonds or something. Um, but yeah, we'll show him the new target block and see, see what he thinks about it. Biffle, Wiffle, hey, my out. sniffle. What you up to, huh? Not you know, just drinking honey. Wait, is that is that honey? Day, is that every single day? It's all I eat, drink, and sleep. You know, and can't Minecraft. Biffle, here. where did you get that honey from? It was a gift from the bee, the bee, the bee shop. Okay, yeah, yeah. I I, I pranked sigils with bees, and he's turned it into a prophet. I hate him for it, but that's not oh, what yeah, this is yeah. about. He's, <laughs> this... he's a maniac. Oh, I want to talk to you about that later. Don't oh, worry. okay, okay. But yeah, that's not what this is about right here. As you can see behind me, there's look. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, Nico's, Nico's house hasn't really been oh, used on, too please. much. Oh my, can, can we sleep off the rain? Let, let me, let me go yeah, see, let, 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 let me sleep off the rain, because oh my goodness, this, this rain, the, the door's not working. Can you just open the door? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's sleep with this rain because the rain is pretty annoying. But anyway, 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 Nico anyway. hasn't been using this house. So you know what I did? I went and messaged him and said, I'm gonna make a tunnel through your house and he was fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. Spawn's getting a little bit crowded, so I thought we should extend it a bit. Right. The trapdoors might need to go. The trapdoors might need to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can, we can go ahead and come over here and we have a whole new area to build. A bunch more shops and a brand new little game right here. Thing? Yeah, dude, before this is what I brought you to come and play with me. Oh, do you want to do a little round of sniper archery shootout here? 1v1, Absolutely. 10 arrows a side, and just. Yeah, dude, how many shots did I get? Like 30? 17? You, you get 10 you shots, before You get 10, 10 shots, shots, and you get a score shots. of 1 to 3, and. Uh, yeah, dude. And uh, whoever has the most score by the end of it wins. Okay, Sound good? What do they win? What are we, what are we offering, dude? You want um, to play, um, I have one diamond on me, but hey, you want to do something a little bit, a little bit better? Ooh, what's better than diamond? Wait. You already know it. You already you know it. Like yeah, I think I think I have one netherite ingot. You want to do one netherite ingot I a, each? I can do a netherite ingot. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do nice one space. each. Let's do one each, and the winner gets two netherite ingots. Damn. Okay, okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, okay, you've got your ten arrows, right? Oh, man, I'm gonna sit up in my chair for <laughs> this. Zubas, this know, is Zubas. a pretty big deal. A netherite ingot is pretty hard to get because you need like four netherite scraps. So I think no, I think it's expensive. I know, like, dude. This is literally my last supply. <laughs> oh, you never know. You might double your your points here. I but hey, I certainly hope so. The way we're gonna do this is I'll take uh, five shots, you take five shots, and then I'll take my okay. last five shots, and you can take your last five shots. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't listening. Oh, uh, oh, um, you, you bought. Okay, so, <laughs> do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Yeah, go for it. Go okay, for it. okay. Lamps are gonna glow up when you. Oh. Mm hmm. So you see, there's there's three lamps. The first one's one point, second one's two points. Th all three of them, that's three points. Right, so let's so let's see what I can get. Score, yeah, me worry. me neither. Uh, go waiting for the hero to go down. Oh, you missed completely. <laughs> okay, it was the first oh, shot. It's, it's fine. It's fine. That was only the first shot, and. Ooh, oh, two, two, points. two points! Two points! Two points. That's not bad. Three. Beful, 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 beful. I'm on. I'm on three points. I have two more arrows. Three points. Go for it. Uh. Ooh, that's okay. three plus two, five. My last arrow. Five points. We're we're good at math. Oh, only one point. Okay, so I got six okay. points, okay. right? Yeeticus. Ooh, two points. Two points. Two uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, five. Okay. Six. Come on, you miss it. Miss it before. Oh, no, that means you're on eight points right now. Five more arrows. Let's, let's go, let's go. I want to get a bullseye. I want to I wanna get a bullseye, dude. I want to get a bullseye. Oh, oh, okay. One. Two. You have two points? Oh my, oh my, I'm a bot, I'm a bot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, four, four, four points. Four, so I'm on ten points, points total. Ten points total. And eleven, 11 points. points. Is that is that it? Yeah, that's it. Eleven you know what, Edwin, you know I need points. One bullseye to win, right? You need one bullseye or three just singles. It just, just um. Alright, man. No Here boy. Oh you boy. Know, just doing the thing Biffle does, and that's called we wooing all over the place. Oh, oh no, you're learning one more point and you've... One point, dang it! Where's... Okay, that's three. That's... Headway. Oh, I tied you, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you've, yeah. you've tied me. Um... Two and, points. and... And you, you don't... You, like that, I'm you, just gonna you, you don't even need to take another shot. You've already... You've already... Before you've already... You've literally... How? How did you... You know what? Take my netherite and get away from here! Get away from here, dude! Hey, you, you come a... <laughs> Actually, a funny coincidence. You know how you're we're shooting arrows at uh -huh. the target? Uh-huh. Sigils has been running around like a madman. Well, yeah, of course. I want to I want to enlist your help to um give him a little give him a little surprise with some arrows. What do you say, bud? Huh? You want to join me? Wanna you want to prank him, him with me? some arrows, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it might be called like infinite arrow prank or some sort of like you know, <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, before I'll help you out for for, for a small price. 
<laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let, let's get him back. I, I, no, no, no. Biffle, I will do this for free. I, I don't care. I just yeah, want to get back I, at Sigils, dude. He turned my house pink. He filled my house up with bees that were, like, attacking me. Worse. Yeah, it, worse. Not it was, lie, it, it but, was uh, a bit of a problem. Uh-huh. Uh, I think, I think, listen, I think he deserves it. Uh, he, he, a hundred... He 100% deserves it. What, what, like, come on. Let's just do it, dude. Okay, so that went pretty well. Unfortunately, yeah, Biffle is here just celebrating his netherite ingots. Get out, dude. Um, but this actually worked really, really well. I'm really happy with how it turns out. I'll probably add some signs there or something eventually. Look at Biffle just practicing his his shots there. But yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the prank, we're about to do on Sigils. You can go ahead and check out Biffle's video. Is he going to get a booze? Dude, look at this guy. He's shooting so many arrows. He hit the... Oh my god, he's trash. But yeah, if you guys want to go see the prank that we got put on Sigils, go ahead and check out Biffle's video but other than that hopefully you guys did enjoy the video as always i'll see you guys all again next time peace